I'm Anson. What? Wow, are you really Haruki? You really changed! Today, we rented out a bar and held an elementary school reunion. No. <laughs> and he's a president of a company. <laughs> wow! My classmates were surprised that I changed from 15 years ago. No, sorry, sorry, I'm late. Boy. Then, the girl that showed up late was... What? My name is Haruki Ishimoto. This is what I looked like 15 years ago. I ate a lot and I weighed 120 kilos as a sixth grader in elementary school and was an extremely obese child. <laughs> You're unbelievably fat. <laughs> the girl boss of the class, Shoko Takazuka, would always make fun of how fat I was. If you're that fat, you'll never be able to marry. I'll get her back! What? I'll become a hot guy who you'll even fall for! I was so frustrated that I once dared to say something like this. <laughs> but Takazuka-san laughed so much. Everyone listen! If I ever fall for him and propose, I'll eat spaghetti from my nose! <laughs> Basically, she wants to say that it's impossible. Anyway, I had such an humiliating elementary school experience. A dire request? S sorry There have been a lot lately. Is it trendy? Then I asked the handyman in town to modify my body. Okay, one, two, one, two! I had a skinny body after all my hard work. And I grew over 15 centimeters in high school. After graduating from college, I started my own company. And now I'm a young entrepreneur who runs several companies. And 15 years later, does she not realize it's me? At the reunion, I changed so much that Takazuka-san didn't seem to recognize me. Hey, Satokun, I have something to ask you. Do you mind not telling Takazuka-san that I'm Haruki Ishimoto? Huh? Oh, okay. I had a thought and laid the groundwork for it with my classmates. And I decided to hide the fact that I'm Haruki Ishimoto from Takazuka-san. What do you do for work? Huh? Uh, oh, I run some businesses. And just as I thought, Takazuka-san didn't notice that it was me and started talking to me. And when I was responding randomly... Maybe we... We're soulmates. I knew it! She doesn't know it's me. <laughs> My suspicions were confirmed at this point. What am I saying? We brought something nostalgic today! Then suddenly one of my classmates said this. So nostalgic. They're gonna play our folk dance practice video from 15 years ago as entertainment. Lights turned off and the projector activated. I wonder what it is. I'm getting nervous. So, so close. During this time, Takazuka-san stayed close to me. <laughs> Sorry. And the projector showed a video of our old selves, but... It showed the difficult days for me. Teacher, please change my pair! It's unfair to me! <laughs> I'm sorry! Are you alright, Haruki-kun? Thanks. Yukino, what are you doing? Why are you standing up for a fat loser? It's like I'm the bad guy. And you guys, the giant and the poor loser. <laughs> You're perfect together. I remembered those days and started crying secretly. Yeah, where did that body Haruki go? Did he get so fat that he can't leave the house? <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> then Takazuka-san continued sitting near me. Master, 
A mojito, please. Okay. This master is kind of cool, too. In a slightly badass kind of way. Hey, who are you, anyway? Huh? I don't remember there being such an amazing guy like you in our class. I'm Kageyama. Kageyama? I told her a fake name. Kageyama is the name of a distant classmate who was weak and sickly in elementary school and hardly ever came to school. Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> I didn't really go to school, so... <laughs> eh, so it's normal to not remember me that well. Not at all. I always liked you. That's a lie. It's like really bad luck. I can't believe you inherited a weak and sickly gene. Your household is doomed to natural extinction. Takazuka-san would make fun of Kageyama a lot, too. He doesn't seem to remember, but... I could not hide my excitement at the miraculous luck that had suddenly fallen upon me. My dream man. I'm not letting him go. I was surprised when I went to my elementary school class reunion. There was an unbelievable prince enshrined there for me. Apparently, Kagayama runs several businesses now. And he makes over 50 million yen a year. Inevitably, my aim for the day was focused on a single point. Hey, Kagayama-kun! We actually bumped into each other recently in the city. Do you remember? Huh? Yes, and our meeting tonight was truly the meeting of destiny. It was a few days ago. I was on my way home from work. You dropped your handkerchief. Th thank you. It was only a moment, but it was enough to fall in love. I couldn't stop thinking about you since then. I was hoping that I'd meet you again. Huh, <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't remember. I didn't think that I'd meet you here. Are you dating anyone now? Uh, no, I'm not. As soon as I heard that... Hmm, okay. I'm sure that I can do this. I decided that and did a small triumphant pose. Right then. Everyone, listen! Suddenly a guy shouted at the top of his voice. What's wrong? Oh, that scared me. Well, what is it? I have something to tell my childhood friend Chico. What is it? I wonder what it is. I don't know. They both liked each other since elementary school and started dating from high school. Please marry me! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, yes! Whoa! Whoa! It was a public marriage proposal. Congrats! You did well! <laughs> I'm the happiest guy in the world! <laughs> and the crowd was the most excited it had been today. <laughs> That's great! <laughs> what? How dare she! That's not fair! That's not fair! What? I... I... Uh, um... Takazuka-san started acting weird. Then Takazuka-san grabbed my arm with so much force and started pulling me. Uh, hey! But I stopped in my tracks. Uh, wh what? Don't fight back! We're going. We're going to do what they did. What is it suddenly? I didn't think that hot guy was my classmate from elementary school. This is fate. We were meant to be together. Apparently, she was inspired by the public proposal and also helped by her drunkenness. She was always dominant and was really excited right now. C calm down! What do you want to do with me? 
I, I want you to date me for marriage. I then courted Kagayama-kun with a great figure. A once-in-a-generation, ultra-aggressive approach that will affect my life. S so accept in front of everyone. And everyone will be excited. <laughs> in the next moment, Kagayama-kun pushed me against the wall. Then Kagayama-kun got really close to me. <laughs> Kagayama-kun... I'm finally going to be happy. Baddies can never get married. You said that, right? Huh? Everyone, listen up! Takazuka-san asked me to date her! She asked me to date her for marriage! Whoa! Whoa! Wh what What's going on? For some reason, all our classmates started getting excited. Spaghetti! 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 Huh? What's wrong with you guys? I didn't understand the situation I was in. I've been... Spaghetti! 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 I've been waiting for this moment! <laughs> Through bloody efforts! And finally, the time has come! Okay, what is going on? My name's not actually Kagayama. Huh? Th then who are you? I'm Haruki Ishimoto. <laughs> That was the name of the giant that I was always making fun of. What? Then... Uh, sorry I'm late! A girl I've never seen before came running in. Whoa, who is that? Was there a girl like that in her class? She's so pretty, is she a model? She's Yukina. Yukina Watanabe. What? That loser? She was that loser girl, Yukina, that had a glow up. And she is my wife. Huh? What? What? I didn't tell my classmates this either. We were attracted to each other in elementary school and secretly dated. And we finally reached our goal last year. So, so you tricked me. Don't play stupid playing with my innocent heart. No, I didn't. <laughs> As I said, I'm not dating anyone. I have a wife, though. Master! Police! Call the police! I'm going to sue him for contempt! Here, thanks for waiting. Huh? But the manager of the restaurant brought her spaghetti. If I ever fall for him and ask him to marry me, I'll eat spaghetti from my nose. You can't say you forgot. Your promise to him? Wh what Who are you? He's Kageyama. It's his restaurant. What? Kageyama, who used to be weak and sickly, now runs a restaurant. And today, Kageyama was kind enough to rent out the restaurant to us. You have two choices you could choose from today. You can either eat spaghetti from your nose as you promise, or leave my castle. <laughs> okay, choose! Spaghetti! 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 <sighs> okay, okay! And? <laughs> Shoko Takizuka, 27. Divorced twice. The reunion, which I eagerly anticipated as a chance to meet new people, ended in disaster. Okay, let's go party more! Let's go, Yukina! Yeah! Our sad past has now disappeared into the night sky, along with Takazuka-san. Thanks for watching, everyone. Come back again for more, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.